Hey, what's up guys? It's Connor. You know what it is. It's Wide Off TV. Shout out Foot Joy for my new shoes. These are the streets. They're pretty tight. I want to do a couple videos for you guys, especially people that are new to golf, that, uh, that are, are just getting into the game and they're learning the game. Most people are going to suggest that you get a couple of lessons as you're learning how to play the game. Now, this, these couple of videos are the advice that I have for people that are going to go out and get lessons so that you can have some input when you're actually getting taught and so you can learn at a speed and a way that's best for you. So, a couple of things I'm going to suggest. The, the first thing you need to establish with the person that's helping you is that your golf lesson should be a conversation. Okay? You, should be able to, you should be able to interact with who's ever helping you, ask questions whenever you feel appropriate, and be given a little bit of time as well to kind of digest and think about the ideas that the golf coach, whether it be a male or female, is presenting to you. Okay? So that's the first thing that you need to make sure that they're accountable to is that your golf lesson is a conversation. The second thing is, okay, and this is probably the most important thing I'm going to say is, when you leave your golf lesson, when you're done the lesson at the end, whatever it is that you're learning, okay, you should, you should leave the lesson feeling like you're trying to, you have a better understanding of the concept as opposed to a better understanding of the things you're doing wrong, okay? In my opinion, an example of a really poor lesson would be if I was introduced to somebody that was definitely new to the game, okay, and I pointed out the five or six things that they were doing wrong. And I would say that the reason that I don't in any way agree with that is A, people are smart, and B, maybe the reason they're not doing it the way that you think they should be doing it is that they have a really poor concept of how to do it. And maybe it's just a function of they need time and repetition and a desire to want to get better to, to put in the time and effort to actually get better. So make sure that when you leave those lessons, you understand what you need to do, you feel like you were part of the conversation, and for a lot of people, they need to see the movement and they need to understand why that movement is going to help them. And then for other people that have uh, a, a kinesthetic awareness, they need to understand what it's going to feel like, and then they need to be left alone to do it. All right, so keep that advice in, in, uh, in hand when you're looking for somebody to help you with your golf game. Remember that you're as much a part of the equation in learning golf as they are in helping you. And make sure that you feel like at any time you can ask any question that's going to help you better understand either how you have to move, what it needs to feel like, or why you would do it a certain way and the value of moving that way. Alright, hopefully that advice helps. Good luck this season and hopefully you play well and hit it well.